It's definitely good news that Earth is not going to fall into a black hole, but it's also good news that we're finally starting to cool down. The sun is down, the light is gone, and we're finally seeing some cooler temperatures. Roby and Anson finally under 100 degrees. We're seeing Roby at 95, Anson at 98. Abilene sitting in 96 degrees right now. Doesn't look like anyone's in the 80s, but we're seeing as low as 91 degrees over here in Eastland and Comanche. So some pretty warm conditions right now. We're still going to see another warm night as we get through these next couple of hours. Low staying in the mid to upper 70s for the entire area. 75 degrees here in San Angelo, 79 up here in Abilene. Some still much warmer temperatures up here in the big country. We still have these winds coming in from the south, so we've got that more well-mixed air here in the Concho Valley versus up here in parts of the big country. Who knows? We could see a couple places see lows at 80 degrees. But as we finish over these next couple of days, we're going to keep seeing the heat. The heat advisory got extended from 8 p.m. Friday to 24 hours later to 8 p.m. on Saturday. And you can see Saturday is expected to be hotter, even if only by a degree hotter than Friday, and we'll still see triple digits as we continue into next week, even if there isn't a heat advisory yet. But when we look at our weather pattern, we've got high pressure that's been overtaking our weather pattern as it has been over the past couple of weeks. But so this high pressure is going to continue to shift its way over west, and you see this overall smaller bubble is starting to shrink. You know, the influence of the high pressure is shrinking as it also continues to make its way further west as we get into the early days of next week. What that's going to do is open the possibility for this trough that you can see behind me to create a cold front that excuse me, that can actually stretch all the way down to us here in Texas and could also bring us some rain chances as well. And we can kind of confirm that one with the humidity that we're seeing. We're seeing a drop in the humidity, a very steady decline as we get from today to about a week from now. And that could be our atmosphere taking advantage of some of the moisture that we have already in the air. And then when you look at the rain coverage, we do have some light chances on the weekend, mainly for Saturday afternoon and evening, where we're going from that high heat into the nighttime. But more so as we look into next week, we can see this cold front around midway through and then, of course, we have those rain chances that are going to come. It's seemingly around Tuesday evening into, uh, excuse me, Tuesday afternoon to Tuesday evening and a similar situation going into Wednesday morning as well. But when you look at your seven day forecast, we still have got to get through this high heat first. We could see some more warnings come out over the next couple of days for the rest of the weekend. But as we start out next week, we see a drop in temperatures. This cold front could actually bring us some cooler below 100 degree temperatures and hopefully some of that isolated rain as well.